Oh! Ah! That is a huge one. <laughs> that thing just smoked it. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are out here on the beach today. I was looking back the other day, trying to figure out the last time I made a set rig surf fishing video, and it has been three months, which is crazy. Cause when I first started this channel, all the way up until like this year, surf fishing was the primary videos I was making. And it's been three months since I've done one. Been doing a lot of pier fishing. We traveled a little bit, but we're back out here today doing a little surf fishing. We got fish gum, we got Salty's Pompano rigs, we got some fresh dead shrimp, and uh, we're just gonna see what we can find. I already got everything set up here. I already got baits in the water. I'm gonna show y'all everything, how we rigged it up here in just a second, but if you guys like to see me back here on the beach doing some surf fishing, make sure you shoot this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, do I need to start doing more of this again? Or do y'all like switching it up with the pier videos, the jetties? Comment down below, let me know what you like to see. So ultimately, that's what I'm here to make, is stuff for you. But if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. We're gonna get to fishing, try to see if we can throw a couple in the cooler. I've been seeing a bunch of guys have been catching some pompano, so that's my objective. My objective today is to catch a keeper pompano. It has been a minute, so uh, that's the goal. I'm gonna see if we can get us some fish on the beach. Let's go. All right, guys, first setup of the day is Salty's Pompano rigs, pink, white, and black. A little fresh dead shrimp and some secret weapon fish gum. We do have a little bit of grass in here close. I'm gonna try to launch this out and hopefully there's not any grass on the back side. Don't really feel like dealing with that today. Check out these new sand specs I got. These are from Deerfield Fabrication. I'll have them linked down below. But really cool sand spikes. Got their logo got my name on it go ahead and get a couple more rods set up here see if we can find some fish all right i'm gonna toss out a little whiting rig now i just got some 10 pound fluorocarbon little bead and then probably like a size four circle hook i'm gonna try to toss it close again there's a lot of grass i'm gonna try to avoid where i can see the thick patches but a lot of times these whiting are hanging out real close so i do want to be in close we're gonna try to see if i can do that without too much grass if we have to i'll throw it a little further we do seem to be avoiding the grass with the poles that are a little deeper so i think all that grass is just pushed in here real tight to the beach thought we just had a hit but a little birds flew by and hit the line i was able to catch a few sand fleas so i'm gonna go ahead and put a sand flea on one of these rigs here them pompano loves some sand fleas huge flock of pelicans just flew by oh he got off of it you were about to have your first experience of catching a bird from the beach good. it is not fun lines going slack lines going slack we got something we got something oh uh, yeah first fish of the day got a little whiting up close here not quite big enough for a sandwich but adam wanted some cut bait so we'll give it to him he might be throwing out for a redfish or something let's go get another piece of shrimp on there see if we can do it again keep fred away from that little whiting all right we got the skunk off our back first fish i've caught off a set rig in a while get another piece of shrimp on here see if we can find us another one we got a couple decent sized whiting. We'll definitely be taking those home. Just toss it in right off the beach. Nice and close. Oh, oh, we're already getting hit. We got a fish on. Let's see what we got. It's gonna be a whiting. That is another whiting. Nice. That's a little bit bigger than the first one. I think we can make a little sandwich out of him. I'm gonna throw that one in the cooler. Get another piece of shrimp on here. Maybe we found us a little whiting hole. Yeah, I just barely had that tossed in right off the beach. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, he's pulling drag, he's pulling drag. What do we have? I thought we were gonna have another whiting. Oh, we do, it's just a stud. It's a tank. Check it out, y'all. Nice whiting. 
started pulling some drag. I thought I might have had something a little bit bigger. But it is a good keeper size whiting here. We're going to toss them in the cooler. See if we can do that again. <laughs> oh! Ah! That is a huge one. <laughs> That thing just smoked it. Oh, I love catching these fish on light tackle. This has got to be a good one here. Nice. These whiting are fired up this morning. I was trying to get my camera set up. It's all crooked and everything. I was trying to get it set up right, and it got freaking destroyed by this whiting. Fred's been seeing me catch the fish. Got him all excited over here. This is like instant hookup. Oh, 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 that one's pulling some drag too. Oh, these fish are awesome. Oh God, what is this? Is this a whiting? If this is a whiting, it is a tank. Oh, I think he's got some grass on there with it, making him feel bigger than he really is. That's still a nice one though. That is the biggest one so far. We gotta be careful landing this fish here. He does not want to come up on the beach. We got tons of grass on the line. A little sketchy, but that's a freaking tank whiting. Come on, wave. Come on, wave. No. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. <laughs> a freaking huge whiting. That looks like a little redfish. Check out the size of that whiting. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get a measurement on him. That is a 16 inch whiting right there. That is a stud. I have caught one 17 incher before, but it's pretty rare for them to get this big. This is a freaking tank, man. We're gonna throw this one in the box, see if we can catch us another one. That is amazing. I, I got a fish on. I was just on the phone with my wife. I was like, ah, I gotta go. We got a fish. <laughs> another whiting in the same hole here. Well, I assume it's another whiting. Yep, yep. That's another good one, too. God. There are some massive whiting in this hole today. It looks like a tiny one compared to the last one. That's still probably like 13 inches. Still a very nice quality whiting. Holy crap, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Mm, 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 mm. Golly, these fish. This feels like another freaking tank, man. It is, he's working me down the beach here. God, that is a stud. No, 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 no. Get up here. Get up here. Holy crap, y'all. This is insane. Like, seriously, insane. Another freaking toad. Golly, let's get a measurement on this one. This one's just shy of 16, so a little smaller than that other big one we have, but still very nice quality whiting. This is wild. Freaking wild. Every time I stop and do something else, like take a phone call from my wife, try to drink some water. Like if I try to do something, it gets smoked. Let's see if I can stand here and watch it and actually catch one. All right, I haven't been hit on the whiting rig in a minute. A lot of times these whiting are kind of hanging out in one spot. And so if you get, if you catch a bunch of them, sometimes you can kind of clear out that spot. And so I'm just gonna move it around a little bit, try a different area. I've been tossing it pretty much right in here. There's a patch of grass, been a little to the left of that. What I'm gonna do is move this rod over here. We got a nice deep hole right here. We're just going to try right in front. See if we got any fish in this spot. If you're on a hot whiting bite and it slows down, just move your rig around and you'll probably find them again. Yep, 
There we go. Told you. Moved it and instantly got eight. I just need to get in a new spot. That's another small one, but it's a fish. We're gonna let this guy go. Love it when a plan comes together. There we go. Another instant bite. This new spot is definitely paying off here. That's an eater size. Not too bad. You want them? Yeah, might as well. Thanks, I just keep feeding your family. <laughs> Adam just recently moved in the neighborhood and they love eating fish. So anytime I got some extra fish, I give it to them. We caught some snapper and stuff the other day offshore. I'm not sure if you've seen that video yet or not. I don't know which one will be out first, but gave them some red snapper and vermilion snapper. Now today we're getting them some whiting. Wonder if I'm gonna be able to claim them on my taxes as a dependent. Oh, fish on, fish on. There we go. I just put some fresh shrimp on there. Got hit instantly. Like literally the second it hit the water, I had a fish on. That was wild. They are still chewing. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. Hopefully we're not about to get rained on. I need to check the radar. Check this here radar. Oh, 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 fish. Got a fish, got a fish. Oh, that might be another good one. The last couple out of this hole have been smaller. He's fighting pretty good. Adam wants to keep a couple fish, so I'll throw them in the cooler for him. Looks like we should be all right. Most of it's offshore. There's a bunch inshore there that's gonna, gonna get us later, but I'll definitely be gone by then. All right, guys, we are back at the house now. Got a little taste tester uh, shut up at the house. I'm at the house. I'm, I'm home alone. My wife has left me, yeah. so Brad invited me over for dinner. He knew I'd be struggling. His, his wife left him because he won't cut his hand. <laughs> she left on a trip. She didn't leave me forever. Y'all have seen some of his videos before when his wife is gone and he's had to like scrounge yeah, around yes. trying to find food. It's tough. Well, th this time he came to my house. Thank you, Brad. So, uh, y'all know what we caught in the video today? He does not. We got three different kinds of fish though. We got the one we caught today, and we got two different fish that we caught offshore in a different video that y'all have not seen yet. And so we're gonna fry these fish up, and we're gonna do a little taste test for him. I can tell, see, like, I can tell some differences, but I can't tell what's going on. Yeah, Daddy. one of them's definitely different. Two of them are very similar looking. So we'll see if he can uh, figure out which one is which. We got the oil heated up. Already got a little bit of flour and cornmeal mixed up here, and a little bit of Tony Satchery. So first we're gonna start with this one right here. We're gonna get it all floured up. We're gonna cook one. We're gonna cook them one at a time so we can kind of keep it organized here. All right, first group of fish going in here. Buying a fryer was like the best investment I've made. We used to just do it in a pan. Oh yeah, no, that's way better. And it would just make a mess every day. So. All right guys, we're gonna let this fish cook. While we're letting it cook, me and Matt have some stuff we've been working on for a little bit. I'm excited. We had a couple meetings today. We got like multiple things going on. A but there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. And it's, I'm excited. Like it's going to be pretty cool. I, have to. I don't know how I can handle anything else. <laughs> with yeah, all these kids. You got enough going on, isn't it? I, I, I don't know what else you want to add to your plate. But. Yeah. We should kind of have some things ironed out here in the next week or two and maybe be able to start sharing a little bit more, but Stay tuned. We've, uh, we've been working with some other people. Yeah. We've, we've been buying some stuff. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, kind of, it's getting weird, man. It's getting weird. It's <laughs> All right, we got fish number one done. Time to put fish number two in here. It looks really good. Number one is looking right. Any ideas on what any of this might even be? Other than what, I know you mentioned flounder for the one. I have a pretty good, I mean it looks like, it looks really thick, too thick to be flounder unless you just call it like a, a doormat. Uh, yeah, like a stud. Record. State record. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. I'm familiar with that. Yeah, yeah that's it, it looks familiar. Fish number two is done right here. That? Okay, I have to try that. I don't know, that, for, for whatever reason, that one kind of looks better. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a it's, little it's, different. It's a little thicker. It's harder. I'm, it looked the same on the, before you cooked it. 
I mean, this, I've seen whiting a lot. That kind of looks like whiting to me, but I didn't know if, if it was whiting or mangrove. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, that would be a big mangrove. Did you see Brent's video? Uh, oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. I went offshore with Brent, and I haven't posted that video It could be, it could be yet, mangrove. So. Yeah, I'm thinking that's mangrove. This is number one, this is number two. About to drop down number three, which is neither wedding or mangrove. It, it was really white. It looked like flounder, but really thick. All right, guys, we got all the fish ready here. We got number one, number two, number and number three. We got two other people that want to give it a little taste test here. So we're going to see what everybody thinks. We'll start with number one. Here's a little bit of ranch, some hot sauce, and tartar sauce. I don't know if you want something to dip it in, but yeah, I'm good. if you do, there's a little something, something. I'm gonna eat this one. So let's start with number one. I'm gonna eat this one. Kelton going in for like a huge piece. Go, going I'm in eat hot. This one. Little ranch. Ranch. Ooh, a lot of ranch. I'm that. I'm gonna ditch. What do you think? Hang on. Hang on. We're trying this one first. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, for real. Let me wait that time. Alright, Knox, here. I like that time. Okay, we're gonna eat that one a second. You gotta try this one. Alright, hang, hang on. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta be careful with the hot sauce and the little ones, because that hot sauce is pretty dang hot. Don't touch the red sauce. You got some? Yeah, I got I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Uh, I don't know if you do or not. I know. I'm gonna eat this I mean, one. that one might surprise you. I have a lot of experience with this one. Huh? No. Taste familiar? Do I'm that. pretty sure this is white. This has got to be white. Wait. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I uh, what do you think? You like it? Wait. Thumbs up? Let's go on to number two. Number two. Number this two. one. Do you have any ideas on this one? I'm looking at it. Slightly different. I'm going to try it. I think I know. I'm going to eat red tea. I'm going to eat red tea. I'm going to eat red tea. For those of you that have seen some other catch and cooks, the fact that Knox is sitting here eating fish is kind of a big deal. Then I like this one. You like it better than the first one? I, <clears throat> no, I like both of them. I think this one's mangrove. You really like that one. Like big, big you know, mangrove. You know, yeah. I like that one. Really. Similar. That's what I thought. Close. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. I will it's, say it's, it's, not, it's, it's not mangrove. It's not mangrove. Mm. Not mangrove. Okay. Yeah, what about this one? Alright, I love Daddy, you didn't mommy. You were right around. Right, I, 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 I knew I was right around. I knew when I invited you over and was going to do this, I was like, please. No, you yeah. don't know the wiring. Yeah, I mean, I, I can look at it. Like, you, you fish you've caught more wiring than I have. Yeah, 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 I have. Yeah,
Scam. Really? I've never had a grouper. Really? Yeah. No, the First time. Yeah. I only you typically will eat what I catch. Yeah. In most cases. So I've never. Well, today it. you're eating what I've caught. Well, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So if you had to rank them, number one. Number two. I was gonna say you, you can't put white. Yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. Now that I've already told you why they were. Good. <laughs> that, that would be my third favorite. Yeah. Well, they were they were all very good. I, I'm probably gonna have to go with number one here. Yeah. I, I would put the vermilion snapper in front of the white. Yeah. I mean, I'll, it, I'll put white third on this it's one. It's thicker, but. you know. You get you get a hardier piece of meat. Right. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no, but it, no, it's all very no, good. Yeah. No. Really good stuff. The kids are like dying to to eat some more food. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna finish up dinner here, make everybody a plate. Just wanted to do a little taste test with old Beach Bum. We're gonna let y'all know very, very soon what all we have coming out. So make sure you subscribe. I'll also link his channel down below. Subscribe to him. We're gonna be making some announcements coming out really, really soon. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time. And until next time. Until next time. Until next time. Bye bye, baby. <laughs>